darkness rules, fights the champion of light. Where hope seems lost, there rides the rebellion. Together they stand ready against the dark, evil warriors of the Horde and their leader, the terrible Horda. The Rebellion, armed with hope and ancient powers against the force of an intergalactic army. This is the story of one who will become leader of the Great Rebellion. Shira, Princess of Power, 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 Power. In the last episode, He-Man convinced Adora to see for herself how bad the Horde was. Adora learned that He-Man was right. The Horde was evil. She returned to the Fright Zone and told the Horde's leaders she would no longer serve them. But they put an evil spell on her and stole the sword He-Man had been sent to give to Adora, even as He-Man escaped, determined to find her. And now, Chapter 3 of The Sword of She-Ra. The most fearsome weapon in the Horde arsenal. <laughs> Behold, the Magna Beam Transporter. <laughs> what does it do? Watch. See that battle wagon? It was wrecked during the last battle with the Rebellion. It is of no use to me, so... <laughs> Look on the view screen. Oh, you sent it to the Valley of the Lost. Oh, exactly. No one has ever returned from the Valley of the Lost. And with this Magna Beam, I shall at last rid myself of those pests who call themselves rebels. Till now, they have hidden from me in the Whispering Woods. But those woods shall protect them no longer! Once the Magna Beam is at full power, I will transport the entire Whispering Woods to the Valley of the Lost! And all the rebels with it! <laughs> oh, wonderful. Shall we do it now? Not yet. The ray must be at full charge, and that will take some time. Here in the plunder room is the energy source for the Magna Ray. The ray uses the energy of willpower. This rebel was caught trying to stop a horde trooper from arresting his brother. And I do it again, you evil tyrant. The people of Etheria will not bow to rule by force. Not now, not ever. As you can see, he has great strength of will. Foolishly misguided, he will do nicely. Beware, Hordak. One day we shall drive you and your criminal crew away from this planet, and Etheria will be free again. I feel so weak 
What is happening to me? Ah! He had less power than I'd hoped. Charging the Magna Beam will take a long time with such weak material. We must capture more rebels! What happens to the prisoners afterward? They make excellent servants for Horde generals. Don't they, slave? Yes, master. Adam, mission or no mission, it's foolish for you to go to the Fright Zone. Oh, you'll be captured. Stay with us in the safety of Whispering Woods. Well, even the Whispering Woods are not safe from the Horde. I have to get going. Cringer, you stay here. You're too noticeable. Sorry. Oh, that's okay, Adam. You shall not go alone. We stand together in this rebel brotherhood, and... Easy, Bo. I appreciate your offer, but you're needed here. Besides, one man is less noticeable than two. So I go alone. You are a brave man, Adam. I salute you. Good fortune speed you on your mission. Yeah, uh, well, thanks. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Doesn't look like an easy place to sneak into. I don't look much like a member of the Horde. But maybe I can change that. By the power of Grayskull! Catch up with your friends before they get inside the fight zone. Blast! That was the last prisoner in the dungeons. We need more power! Guards, take him away and find me another rebel. I must have more prisoners! The patrol should be returning any moment, Torak. Perhaps they have captured more rebels for you. Perhaps. Are they in sight yet? Oh, let me check. Yes! Here they come now. But I see no prisoners. The incompetent fools! They failed to capture more rebels, and now they have lost one of their own men! No. Here he comes now. He must have been straggling. Wait! That man is no trooper. It's that rebel warrior again! Well, he shall not escape this time. I'll have him stopped once and for all! Wait! Let us not be so hasty. This warrior is a source of great power. If we capture him, he will supply the Magna Beam with all the energy it needs. And with the Magna Beam charged. <laughs> I'll send the rebels to a place where they'll never bother me again! <laughs> Well, I've made it into Doom Tower. So far, so good. But finding Force Captain Adora in a place this size is not going to be easy. Wait a minute. There she is. Alert my personal guard. I will capture him myself. He will not escape me this time. Hello, Adora. How did you get in here? You don't need that. Please, just listen to me for a moment. What do you want? Adora, do you remember the last time we talked? Yes. I asked you to go to the villages and see for yourself what the Horde is really like. Yes, I remember. Did you do it? 
Did you go out and learn for yourself that the Horde is evil? Yes. So, now you know, right? Yes, I know. I know that you are a lying rebel spy and that you are under arrest. Good work, Force Captain. This particular rebel has a habit of causing trouble for me. That's one habit I mean to keep, Hordak. I don't think so, Rebel. Guards! Boss Captain Adora, stop the Rebel. <sighs> Excellent, Force Captain. Guards, take this Rebel to the Plunder Room and put him in the Magna Beam Charger. His energy should be all I need to charge the Magna Beam to full capacity. <laughs> the, the Charger? No, please, you, you can't. Do you have an objection, Force Captain? No objections, my liege. To the plunder room with the rebel. Amazing. His power is incredible. I must be careful not to drain his energy too fast or the machine will overload. This could take all night. Ugh. Problems, Weaver? There is something strange about these swords. They are not of this world. Oh, they have a strange power that I cannot control. I will have to consult my books. There is no hurry. By morning, I will have completely drained the Rebel's energy for my Magna Beam Transporter. <laughs> Let us go now, Weaver. Tomorrow, the dawning of the new day shall herald the final end of the rebellion! <laughs> no, no. It's evil. No. Strange is happening. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to find out. Well, everything seems to be in order here. The strong rebel grows weaker. Soon he will be just another slave. But it is for the good of the Horde. It must be done. Yet, why do I feel so unsure? I don't know why I came down here anyway. I must have been dreaming. There's nothing here for... Adora, Adora, the time has come for you to seek your destiny. You must throw off the enchantments that have made you a slave to the Horde's will. Let your heart guide you toward the path that you know to be right. And let this sword give you the strength to follow that path. Use that strength to protect the weak and to help right the wrongs committed by the Horde. And let your first duty be to this man about to be enslaved by the Horde. A rebel warrior? He is no ordinary rebel, Adora. He is He-Man, hero and champion on the side of goodness. But to you, Adora, he is also something more. Adora, the Horde stole you from your parents when you were a tiny baby. So you never knew your mother, and you never knew your father. But you also had a twin brother. <gasps> this man is your brother, Adora. And Adora, he needs your help. For the honor of Grayskull, Adora. 
for the honor of Grayskull? For the honor of Grayskull. The guards will be here any second. Who are you? A friend who wants to help you. The sword of power. My sword. Of course, the sword of power. What is going on here? He-Man, catch! <laughs> By the... Power. Hurry, He-Man. This door won't last much longer. Of Grey Skull. He-Man. I have the power. He-Man. Stand away from that door, men. It's Hordak. All right. Stand back now. Aha! No need to fight. Let's just get out of here. Wait, there's something you don't know. Ah, the Magna Beam! It is fully charged! I don't know who you are, but your rescue is too late. Guards! Take these rebels at your leisure. I shall go upstairs to activate the Magna Beam. Magna Beam? What's a Magna Beam? Don't ask. We have to stop him. I'll take care of that. You go warn the rebellion. Right! <laughs> Good luck! Yeah. Shiva, Shiva. Go, Spirit! Shiva, Shiva. I am Swift Wind now, dear friend. You guys are going to have to do better than that. So am I. This is taking too long. Hordak said he was going upstairs. Maybe I can take a shortcut. Pretty good, Rebel. But not good enough. I'm activating the Magna Beam. This will take care of whispering woods. <laughs> oh, no. Hordak has turned on the Magna Beam. I've got to do something. Wait, that big rock just might do it. Down, Swift Wind! Now! <sighs> no! My Magna Beam wasted on a rock! Well, I still have enough power for a second shot. Sorry. What happened? Where are we? Huh? I don't know what happened, but my energy is returning, and I know exactly where we're going. Back to the rebellion, men. Well, Rebel, you smashed my magna beam and saved your worthless friends. So I did. Pretty good, huh? Not good enough, Rebel. I still have you. I'm going to freeze you solid with freeze rays and drop you into the valley of the lost myself. God! Whoa! Oh, oh, he's getting away! Poor Hordak. 
He's had a pretty frustrating day. Thanks for the rescue. By the way, you were just in time. Well, what are sisters for, anyway? Sister? What do you mean? He-Man, I think we have a lot to talk about. And now, here are some exciting scenes from Chapter 4 of The Sword of She-Ra. 